you talk about how cold plasma is used to fight cancer? Sure. Um, the uh, working on cold plasmas for cancer research has been one of our recent uh, initiatives. Um, we had been uh, working on cold plasma and seeing their biochemical uh, properties on, on, on working with microorganisms and so on. Uh, so we also been uh, very aware that the cold plasma produces reactive species. So while exploring the cancer research, uh, we found that some of the cancer cells, they actually require these reactive species for them to go through uh, the self-induced death process. We call it apoptosis. When we explored it, uh, we actually found at a certain amount of plasma exposure or certain amount of uh, reactive species exposure, the cancer cells can actually choose to go from either apoptotic method and uh, when we have, of course, uh, prolonged exposure or overexposure, the cancer cells uh, go through necrotic process, which is a uh, sudden uh, or sudden abruption of uh, cell um, structure. We could actually begin to see these cancer cells begin to go through this apoptotic or self-induced death process over 24 hours and over 48 hours, uh, which is the actual preferred way for um, cancer treatment.